If you're just starting to look for your first horse and you don't know where to keep them, a boarding stable may be the option for you. If you don't have your own property for your horse, you can pay monthly to keep your horse at a boarding stable and they provide the facilities you need for your horse. There's a lot that goes into boarding your horse and it's important to know exactly what to expect when you do this. So in today's video, I'm gonna go over everything you need to know when it comes to boarding your horse. If you've never boarded a horse before, you may be wondering exactly how the process works. To get started with this, what you're gonna do is reach out to local boarding stables and you can usually find these online or in any horse groups that may be local. So you'll reach out to the stable and see if they have any options available for you. If they do have availability, what you're gonna do is usually sign a contract that just outlines what is offered and what they expect from you. So it may say like your monthly rate and that's gonna be agreed on in the contract. It may have a liability clause in terms of if you or your horse get injured, the stable is not liable for that. The contract may also outline what is included with the board, what the barn staff is going to be doing, and then what you're going to be doing. It's important to read through those contracts to know exactly what to expect for each boarding stable. When it comes to looking for a boarding stable, there are a few things you want to be looking for. Number one would be the facilities. What facilities are available to you and your horse? Is there a stable if you want a stable? Are the pastures sufficient for what your horse needs? Does each pasture have a shelter to keep your horse safe? If you want a riding arena to ride in, does the boarding stable have a ring that you can ride in with your horse? If you like to do trail riding, does the boarding stable have trails for you to ride on? It's important to make a list of things you specifically want in a boarding stable before you go to look at them, and that will help you to determine your options. Another thing to look at would be the barn staff. Is there someone on the property who lives on the property and can be checking the horses on a regular basis? Is there an experienced horse person that if you have any concerns or questions, you can go to them and get their advice? Another big one would be, is there a trainer on the property? If you know that you wanna to continue to work with a trainer and have a trainer help you and your horse learn to bond and grow together, that is a very vital piece of finding a boarding stable. You're gonna to wanna to find a boarding stable that actively sees to the needs of the horses there. A good indicator that horses are well cared for is that they're gonna look healthy. When you go to visit a boarding stable, are there really thin horses that don't have any grass in their fields and that don't have any water in their troughs? That's a good indication that this boarding stable is not gonna take care of the horses. Some other red flags may be seeing lots of hazards in the field. Are there a lot of broken boards that haven't been mended? Is there anything out in the pasture that the horse could hurt themselves on? Check the stalls in the barn. Have they been cleaned recently? Or is the horse just standing in filth? So those are all things to look for before even considering to keep your horse at a boarding stable. Probably the biggest aspect of finding a boarding stable is the price. So with boarding, you're often gonna pay on a monthly basis and there's gonna be a flat monthly rate. You need to make sure you can afford the board of the boarding stable you are choosing. So before you even start looking at horses or even boarding stables, I would come up with a budget and budget for board specifically and feed and other monthly expenses you may have when it comes to caring for your horse. Let's talk about the different boarding options you're usually gonna run into. There's basically two terms you're gonna see when it refers to the options of boarding. And so I'm gonna cover those next. The first option is stall board. So stall board is oftentimes when your horse is gonna have a stall for themselves. And this usually either looks like they have a stall and then access to a private turnout, or they come in for half the day in their stall and then they'll be turned out the other half of the day with horses in another pasture. Stall board is usually going to be more expensive than any other boarding option, so just keep that in mind when looking for board. The next boarding option is pasture board. Pasture board is when your horse is gonna live out 24 seven in a pasture and hopefully I would assume that they're gonna have access to a safe shelter. Across the United States, there is an average for pasture board and that's usually between $200 and $400 a month. This price can vary just depending on the care package you have, which we're gonna cover next. When looking for boarding options, you're often gonna hear the phrase stall board and pasture board. But along with those also comes the care package or how much care the barn staff is willing to provide your horse. The most common care level you're gonna find when it comes to boarding is a full care boarding option. And what this means is that the barn staff is gonna to see to basically every need for your horse. So they're gonna take care of feeding and watering your horse, turning your horse out, cleaning their stalls, putting blankets on, 
and even maybe providing grain with that as well. Full care board can come in the form of either the horse has a stall and it's stall board or the horse also lives 24 seven out in a pasture as well. Full care board is a great option for you if you're not able to get out to see your horse every day. Maybe you're in school or you have a job that keeps you from going to see your horse every day. If that is the case, the barn staff will see to the needs of your horse so you don't have to worry about that. In America, full care board usually ranges anywhere from $400 to $700 or more, just depending where you are and just depending on the quality of the stables. Another care level you may hear about is partial board. This is when the barn staff sees to the basic needs of your horse, so like feeding and watering them each day and turning them out. But with this care option, there are gonna be some requirements from you when it comes to caring for your horse. So you may need to go out and take your horse's winter blanket off if it's getting warm, or you may need to go clean their stall each day. With a partial board, you are probably more than likely going to have to provide your own feed and grain for your horse but the barn staff will feed the horse for you. So that's another option. It's usually a little cheaper than full care board. Partial board can range anywhere from $250 to $400 in America. And so if you're on a little bit of a budget, that may be a better option for you. But once again, you are gonna need the time to probably get out to the barn at least once a day. If you're on a tight budget, the best care option for you when it comes to boarding may be self-care board. So a self-care board, all you're really doing is paying to keep your horse on the property and to use the facilities that they provide. But other than that, there's no barn staff to take care of the needs of your horse. That means you are gonna see to everything your horse needs. This would include you having to go out to the barn probably multiple times a day to feed and water your horse, turn your horse out, clean the horse's stall if you need to, if they're in a stall, take their blanket off, put their blanket on, purchase your own grain, purchase your own hay usually. But the benefit of this is that the average price for self-care board in America is only $150 to $300. It ranges in between there. So this may be a great option for you if you have the time and if you're on a budget. When looking at boarding stables, it's important to note that not every stable is gonna offer all of these care options. Many times boarding stables will only offer full care board just because it gives them the ability to ensure every horse is taken care of. That being said, there are plenty of boarding options out there I've seen that provide self-care board and partial board. So you're just gonna have to look into that. Many boarding stables will supply basic supplies needed to care for your horse. But that being said, it is useful to have your own supplies on hand when it comes to owning your own horse. So I just wanted to go over the supplies that I personally recommend you should have for yourself, even if you're boarding your horse. First, I recommend to have a few different halters. This is my rope halter, but you need your halter basically to do a lot of the stuff with your horse. So I recommend you have a few of these on hand just in case if one breaks, these are going to be yours specifically. No one else is gonna use your halter. Secondly, you're gonna want your own tack. If you are riding at a lesson barn right now and you don't have your own horse, you're probably using the lesson barn's tack. But when you get your own horse, you're gonna want tack that is specific to your horse. So that includes a bridle, a saddle, a girth, and saddle blankets, and everything you need to ride your horse. Next is brushes. You want your own brush set specific to your horse. And there's a number of reasons for this. Number one, if you're brushing multiple horses with the same brush, you can actually spread infections and things like that. And number two, boarding stables aren't usually going to provide brushes. Medical supplies. You're going to want your own medical supplies and you can just collect these as you get your horse. One great thing about boarding stables is I find that if I need something medically for my horse, usually people are kind enough to share and I'll share with them as well. But it's also important to have your own medical supplies just in case there's an accident or a situation randomly comes up you are prepared and ready. Another thing you're gonna want for yourself are seasonal items. So I have Tucker's winter blanket right here, but then if you have a fly mask or fly spray, you want those all to be yours specifically. Also fly spray, fly spray is expensive. And so usually you're gonna to have to provide that for yourself. I know some barns have like automatic fly sprayers in the aisles, which is awesome but not everyone does, so I highly recommend getting fly spray. Other items you're gonna want are food storage items, so a grain bin to keep your grain safe from mice and other little rodents. Oftentimes, boarding stables will have grain bins that they provide, and usually sometimes they may even provide the grain for your horse. That's just something you're gonna need to talk to the stable about. But if not, you're gonna want your own grain bin to store your grain. You're gonna want feed bins to feed your horse, water buckets, feed buckets, hay nets, 
Just anything in case there's a situation where you need to give food to your horse, you can provide it to them. If you're in the process of looking for your first horse, there are many more things that go into caring for your horse besides just finding a boarding stable. So I've actually created an online course that covers everything you need to know to care for your horse. And I'll put the link in the description to that course. And you can also go to shop.equinehelper.com. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more weekly horse videos.